What do you have a taste for? A cooking with fire. What's your desire? Let me make you some good to eat. It'd be so good you fall asleep. Now you're cooking with fire. Elevating dishes higher. Let me fix you some good and sweet. I'll put a wiggle in your feet. I can go savory or sweet. No matter what the we gon' eat. I can go savory or sweet. Hey y'all, what's up? What's up? Back with another episode of Cooking with Fire. So for today's meal, I've done this before, okay? Creation, that's what I want to say. For today's creation, I will be doing um, patties. But these won't just be considered like salmon or croquette patties. This time I am using a combination of all my favorite fishes, okay? For one, we have, <laughs> this is new for me to try, well, the sardines. I've never put sardines, but these are my water pack favorite sardines. I also have scallops. I've never used scallops. It's my first time trying scallops, and I was like, oh, they're pretty good. That's a good match. And then we're going to be adding, I did two things of my favorite smoked oysters, okay? Now, normally we would do this with either macro or either we would be well that's a macro sorry and this one is pink salmon so what I'm doing is mixing these two so we have a combination of pink salmon macro scallops oysters and sardines okay so what we're going to be doing now is the other ingredients that I will be using as also my different ingredients that I like okay my pink Himalayan salt, paprika, smoked and regular, and turmeric, and garlic powder, onion powder, and regular pepper. Then we will be using some herbs, okay? Parsley, we'll be using some parsley. This is some salt-free seasoning, so there's a lot of different herbs that's just all mixed together that I created. And then we have some bay leaves, okay? Basil, I'm sorry about that. In here, we will be also adding some fresh vegetables because one thing I like to do is always make sure we get our vegetables in no matter what we are cooking, okay? And so we have a, a combination of garlic, green onions, the long steam green onions, the bottoms of them. I even have some cilantro. I also have some um, bell peppers, the red and the orange ones. Combination all in here with celery at the same time. So for starters, what I'm gonna do first is throw everything in. Yep, we're gonna throw everything in here in the bowl, okay? I'll also have some cornmeal that once I'm done that I will be also mixing in and a little bit of flour. And what's unique about this one is all fish is good with lemon. So I will be also adding a little lemon juice, which is something I've never ever done before. So one of the things I do need to do <laughs> Get in. We're going to be using one tablespoon, okay? There's a lot of fish in here, a lot of meat, so we'll bump it up to a tablespoon of everything. And so what we'll do now, see this is a good easy dish, okay? Really easy dish. And um, and fish is already kind of salty, or is it, so you won't need a whole lot anyway. And so this one right here, this is basil. So we're gonna add some basil. I, I love it. Basil, probably. The powder of garlic, onion, and pepper. Okay. Right here, I have some more just seasoning because it's not salt. I love I love flavor of herbs, and there's a lot of different herbs that I did create. Um, thyme, the rosemary is mixed all up in there. Um, at the same time. So then we're going to add the smoked paprika and regular paprika mixed with turmeric. And last but not least, I will be using some parsley flakes. <laughs> all right. And so what I will be doing also, after all of these, I have three small eggs. 
that I will be adding to help it bind together really good okay so we're gonna add the eggs in here everything is all at once that's what's so cool about it all right the difference now is I'm gonna do this lemon juice <laughs> and I have a half of cup of lemon juice that I've added in there and so what I'm gonna do first is um, well yeah and right here I have two third well one and a half cups of cornmeal okay and then I have um, one cup of flour I'm gonna kind of mix them a little bit but I'm gonna do a little bit at a time but what I want to do first is I want to mix everything okay so let's get to mixing uh, yeah this is a uh, very gonna be very interesting very interesting you know I get these ideals and these visions in my head and it'd be like let's just do it why not that's just how my life is period <laughs> I see it why not let's do it and see what it comes out like so um, it's pretty moist so that lets me know now that um, I may even need may need to use all of this at first I was gonna like you know put a little bit in at a time that looks that even looks good and even put a little bit in at a time um, and other than the egg really this is all done cooked them vegetables you could definitely eat them cook or raw you know um, and so that's a good thing right there other than the egg I'd like to know if I need more salt but I don't know so I'm not going to to challenge that <laughs> I'm going to hope that the lemon juice you know will um, take that place and then of course with the the meat already being salty so but I'm wondering because it's a lot I like really want to go another like but I'm not gonna do it I really want to do another so we're gonna get rid of these all right so now I'm gonna add this is a cup and a half of cornmeal and this is a half a cup of flour okay so we're gonna start over again <laughs> with the mix in get the mixing this up and and uh this process should allow me to form the patties but it'll also let me know if i need to add a little more flour you know more than anything um these are small <laughs> this is not very easy but they won't slip off that's for sure thank you son <laughs> all right so let's see if this is going to allow me to Yes, form some patties, not really dry it out. One of the things you don't want to do is dry it out. And it's mixing really well. Mm -hmm. Good. All right, so what I didn't do was put the pan on the oven. So the, I am using olive oil, it's a mess down there. <laughs> I am using olive oil. To, to fry this in okay just so you know all right and so got that mixed all well I'm gonna need another set even just to make some patties with it all right so we're gonna get that going right here on the stove right there I am going to grab some more gloves and we're gonna go over here I'm gonna um, start making some patties so we can um, start dropping them have some rice we're gonna put at the end on a bed of rice and uh, yeah that's it all right see you on the other side all right so over here we're making the patties right now now you can make your patties any way or size I want to say you want okay I um this is like a, a kind of a medium right there for me I have made them smaller before but um and then I like to shape them you know and my sides give them a <laughs> you know but it, it's no no specific rule to how you want to do them okay but um and that's it um making them too thick try to just make sure that they might be all about the same you know in size and stuff like that and um you know 
Here we go. So I'm going to keep doing this until we um, get enough ready and done. I've got a bed of rice, some nice good brown rice. I'm waiting to put these on top of, okay? And um, so just to give you a, um, a glimpse of what it's even looking like. You see how that is? You can see everything in there, a nice firm patty. These are really good. I'm really excited about seeing how these are gonna taste. This is my first time doing this particular type of combination. Um, especially with um, scallops. <laughs> I've never did with anything, done it with the oysters before, but I did not do it with um, sardines and I haven't done it with the scallops and I haven't mixed the pink salmon and the mackerel together. So this whole combination of these patties are um, just from a vision that I had. <laughs> We're gonna get one in the center and then I'm just gonna um, tend to these and um, flip these and we'll be ready to eat them. See how fast and easy and quick that is? Very fast, very easy. All right. I'm gonna give those, I'm going to say about 15 minutes on each side. So about 30 minutes, we'll see you then. If it takes longer or shorter, <laughs> we will put it in there, all right? See you back. Alright, alright, alright. Everything is ready. So what I'm gonna do, come on back here, Jordan. Come on here and let's um eat, actually. Let's just eat, see how this all tastes. One of the things I did is we're pairing this also with a cilantro lime, okay, which is a um, pure blanched uh, green veggie. All right, come on in, come on in. And we will also be, thank you, Lenora Hall, for this gift of um, Stella Rose Black, okay? So, hey, here we go. Hi, man, let's see what this is all about. more fish than usual. Yes. You can't really just call these salmon bouquet patties, patties anymore. Mm-mm. Mm -mm. Oh, you sure can't. I wouldn't know what to call them. Here go the train. Mm. Oh, yeah. Mm. That's the larger one. Is good. Ain't it good? It pairs so well with this fish. The cilantro lime. Oh, my. And with this brown rice. Oh my stars, this is really good, you guys. I don't know a name for it. Because um, they're not croquette patties, they're not salmon patties. You know what I'm saying? Mmm. Mmm. What do you think? What kind of a name would it be? Um. Chicken of the Sea Delight <laughs> patties? I <laughs> know. It can't be that. Mm. What you got? Something in there. You got something in your glass? It could be the crumbs. I'm so sorry yep. when I was doing this. It could be the, the, the crumbs. I am so sorry. You know? This is really good. This is Ooh. really, really good. Ooh. Really, really, really Ooh. good. Let's see what that is. That is really good. Now see, when they be saying things taste like juice, <laughs> and it don't taste like juice! <laughs> what? Who said it tastes? What? I What's can officially on? say, this will get you a little tipsy, and it actually tastes like juice. Mmm, that's what you said. They do grape juice, kind of, huh? Well, not really uh, grape juice, uh, but... Like or mixed drinks. Oh, this tastes like juice. You love it. It tastes like death. Battery acid. And somebody in the next room screaming fruit flavors at you. That's what these mixed drinks be tasting like. And strawberry flavor, can you taste it? I add. Double A down my throat. Thank you. 
I can kind of feel the vibe. But this one, that's good. This is good. No, no battery acid, no after effects or anything. That is dangerous. Because it's so good. What's the volume? I don't know. You see it? I don't think it's a lot. What's the horsepower? Mm. All right. Five percent. It's just five percent. They said uh, it says one is dry, five is semi-sweet, and ten is sweet. They said this is a five. If ten is sweet, this is a five, and ten is sweet. Yeah. I would hate to taste. Ten sounds like diabetes. Oh yeah, because this right here. If that's five, what is there seven taste like? I can't imagine. I wish this was bubbly though. This would be tight if it's a little bubbly too. That's probably some. It's only five percent. So that's a good thing, but you know, for it to be just five percent, I feel tipsy already. Uh, that's a little lightheaded for something to be so weak, right? Listen, don't forget to hit that like, please subscribe, hit that bell notification, so whenever we, whenever I do another show, do another show, you can be notified. Okay? Go ahead and support us, sister. Like we said, we don't have a name for this. I'm gonna tell you, but it is good. I'm glad I listened to my intuition. Hey, listen to your intuition <laughs> when you're in the kitchen. <laughs> Fish croquette patties. Fish croquette patties. Yeah, yeah, that's about it. With lime, cilantro, cilantro lime mm. sauce. And you just spilled rice everywhere. Only on my plate. It missed my mouth. Mm, this is really good. Now, when I used it this the last time, I didn't get that, get this flavor that I'm getting out of it right now. Oh. And I think it's because it's with the fish. Because that's the same bite. Yep. This is it oh. that we put out last time when we did our um, spaghetti and had our salad. And I put yeah. the three different things out here to the salad. It just didn't work. But it is so on point right now with all of this. All right. So anyway, we're going to continue to enjoy and hope you enjoyed watching this. And those that like fish, because I know a lot of you are like going, oh no, oh no, right? But there's a lot of us that love this type of food, you know? So especially if you're a vegetarian, this is really, really good patties that you can also make, okay? Go good with eggs. If you do eggs, breakfast, breakfast, lunch, or dinner, you can do these patties. Hey, 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 I think I did good. Oh yeah. Mm. Mm. This is a winner. This is really good. Peace out. I love you. Make it a great day on purpose. No matter what time of that day it is. Morning, noon, night. Just make sure you make it all right. All right. Peace out. Hey. Cooking with fire. Elevating dishes higher. Ooh. What's your desire? Cooking with fire. Elevating dishes higher. <laughs> Woo. Mm. See ya. Subscribe. Click like. Subscribe. Click, click, click that like. Uh. Cooking with fire. What's your desire? Let me make you some good to eat It'd be so good you'll fall asleep Now you cook it with fire Elevating dishes higher Let me fix you something sweet I'll put a wiggle in your feet